How are you doing everyone? This is Coach B. I got a good one for you today. This is for all you older grapplers out there. I'm gonna give you guys some strategies and some tips on how you can keep yourself on the mats. I'm 51 years old now. I've been training for almost 20 years and I'm definitely slowing down, but I always tell people I love jujitsu today more than when I first started. And I plan on training for the next couple of decades. There's no reason why if you're in your 30s, 40s, and 50s, or even your 60s and 70s, that you can't train jujitsu. But you've gotta follow some really important strategies that I'm gonna talk about. So let's get into it right now. All right, so the first thing you need to do is Pick your training days. Get a training schedule that you know that you can stick to. Now I know a lot of us are busy. We have full-time jobs, we have families, we have a lot of different hobbies that we enjoy doing. So you have to develop a really good training schedule. You don't have to train four or five, six days a week to get good at jujitsu. In fact, if you're an older grappler, I don't even think it's wise to train more than maybe four days a week. One of the things that I have difficulty with whenever I train really hard on one particular day is coming back the next day and training really hard again. I'm a gym owner, so I have to be at the gym, but there's some days where I just don't feel like rolling hard. So if I do back-to-back -back days, if that's in your schedule, then maybe one of your days you're gonna train you know, pretty hard, you're gonna get a lot of good rolls in, and maybe the next day you're gonna focus primarily on technique, and maybe just work a little bit more on your defenses as opposed to just completely wearing down your body. You can risk injury when you're over training. So I always recommend training Monday, Wednesday, Friday, maybe Tuesday, Thursday, and then an open mat. Again, three days, you're going to get better. The worst thing you can do as an older grappler is to take an entire week off from training jujitsu. Okay, so I know a lot of people don't wanna hear this, but this is really, really important for older grapplers. You have to clean up your diet. As I've gotten older, I have realized that when I eat well and I'm eating the foods that I know are good for me and good for my genetics, that I tend to perform better on the mat. So these are the foods that I eat, and again, I don't, I never tell anybody that here's a diet, this is good for every single person. You have to really experiment. The foods that are really good for me are fruits and vegetables and protein. I eat a lot of fish, a lot of salmon, I eat a lot of grass fed beef and definitely blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and a lot of greens as well. That diet works incredibly well for me. Also, you got to hydrate. Keep your body hydrated, not just on the days that you train, but every single day you need to focus on making sure that you are hydrated because when you're hydrated, it's gonna reduce injury. You're just gonna perform better. Getting rid of processed sugars, getting rid of all those refined carbohydrates. Those foods are going to wreck your body. They're gonna cause inflammation. And at the end of the day, you want to be able to perform at your best when you go to the gym. Okay, so all you older grapplers need to do yourself a favor. Get some sleep. You need to shoot for at least seven to nine hours of sleep. This is going to help your body recover. Jiu-jitsu is really hard on the body. As you get older, it's just going to get more and more difficult to recover from. So get good sleep, develop a good sleep routine, get to bed around the same time every night. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is train like an old man. I'm 51 years old. I'm not young any longer. Now, in my mind, I feel like I can still do the same things today that I did 20 years ago. But the reality is, is that I've slowed down a bit. Everybody slows down as they get older. I have students at my gym that are incredibly athletic. These guys fly around, they're you know, passing guard using you know, Toriando techniques. And then here I am over here just moving like a turtle. And that's perfectly okay. So train like an old man, develop your old man jujitsu. What exactly is old man jujitsu? Well, I like to explain it like this. As you get older, you should become wiser. Same thing with your training. When you hit 40, 50, and 60, you're not gonna have the same athleticism as you did when you were in your 30s or your 20s. So why even try? Train 
wisely, slow it down, go at a turtle's pace as opposed to just trying to fly around the mat. But the reality is, is I'm not 20 years old any longer. I'm an older grappler now, so I train like an older grappler. I train wisely today because I wanna be able to come back the next day and train. I wanna be able to train for the next 10, 15, 20, 30 years. And using old man jujitsu strategies is a perfect way to last in this game. I think that all older grapplers should really focus on their closed guard. Closed guard can be really frustrating for anybody. So when you trap somebody in your closed guard, they could be really, really athletic, they could be really young, but if you trap them in your closed guard, you take away all that athleticism, you take away all that youth, and you can get to work. So closed guard is really great for older grapplers. I think that half guard is really good as well. Working on your deep half, um, is, is definitely something that I would uh, recommend for older grapplers. If you're new to jiu-jitsu, if you're somebody who walks in off the street and you're, you're 40 or 45 or whatever, definitely focus on working on your closed guard. As you become better, then you can start working on your half guard, working on deep half. I think those two guards are perfect for people who are older. Also, you gotta work on grips. This is something that I see all the time with a lot of my, my older students is that they don't use that one attribute that slowly fades and that's your strength. Usually our grip strength is something that doesn't fade nearly as quickly as our athleticism. So get a hold of your opponent, suck them into close guard and slow down the pace. If you don't like close guard, then you know half guard and deep half are also really good games to develop as well for older grapplers. Knees, let gravity do much of the work. I have kind of gone away from a lot of my Toriando passing, not because I don't like it, but because it tires me out. And so I feel like some of the best ways to pass guard, at least for me as an older grappler, where I can conserve a little bit of energy is my over under passing. So I try to just put a lot of pressure on my opponent through using over under, stack passing, knee cutting. In terms of uh, Toriando passing and passing from the outside, I love it. I love to watch it. I love to teach it. But for me as an older grappler, it just tires me out. And again, I'm looking to do this for a lot of years and I feel like passing guard from your knees, using stack passing, your over under passing, you're gonna reduce injury and you're probably gonna have a lot of success as well. What I like to do and something that I've been working on a lot is trying to force half guard, getting myself into the half guard position and working the passes from there. That's where I can really just allow my body weight to do much of the work, let gravity kind of take over. It's a, a great way to conserve energy and it's also a great way to put a lot of pressure on your opponent as well. I see this all the time where somebody gets caught in a submission, instead of tapping, they try to fight it to the very end and they end up hurting themselves. Every time you get injured, it's gonna take away from your training, especially when you're an older grappler. Remember what I said, it takes longer to recover, especially when you get injured. So tap, tap early. Don't try to fight it to the very end. Live to fight another day. Remember, old man jujitsu mindset means that you train smarter, you're older, you're wiser, and a wiser grappler is not going to wait to the last minute to tap. Okay, so here's the most important piece of advice I can give anybody. It doesn't matter how old you are. Go to the gym and have a good time. Jiu-jitsu is fun. Every time you walk to the door and you make it to the gym, that's a victory. So just remember that. Go to the gym, have a good time. Enjoy the camaraderie and the fellowship that you get from being around people who are like-minded people who share in this really amazing martial art. Like I said, I love jujitsu more today than when I first started, and I can't even think of my life without it. Jujitsu is going to add 
so much value to your life. You're gonna be healthier. You're going to feel better about yourself. You're gonna be less depressed, less anxious. All of the different things that a lot of people experience out in this crazy world that we live in. I think jujitsu really does help alleviate a lot of our suffering. So if you like the content today, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, I wanna shout out my good friend, Mooch. This is a t-shirt from the Lift Train Ride Movement. Mooch has his own YouTube channel. It's called Mondays with Mooch. I'll put a link to it in the show notes. He just dropped an episode all about the lift train ride movement. So if you like jujitsu, you like weight training, you like riding motorcycles, you might want to check this out. Again, this is Mondays with Mooch. He's an awesome guy and he's really changing the game. Okay, until next time, this is Coach B. Peace.